In need of love, in need of mercy, raining down from high above. It is true that many of us here are not married. Marriage has been defined. I don't know how it is, but the definition of marriage that I want to adopt as our working definition for this program is that marriage is like a city under siege. Those inside want to run out. And those outside want to run in. Did you hear me, brethren? I said marriage has been defined as a city under sea. Those inside want to run out. Whereas those outside want to run in. So those of you here that are not married, of course, one of your prayer points, maybe why you are here, is because you want to get married. You are looking for that angel from heaven, design, package, and reign for you. Whereas, to the young ladies, you are here looking for the very tall, intelligent,
You know, brethren, that we always desire the best for ourselves. And it's a good thing. There is nothing good when better is possible. So that we desire the good things of life, that we desire to improve in all ramifications, that is good. You want a partner, somebody you spend the rest of your life with. And you set your standard, like I just pointed out. You set your, you have your spec. The spec you want, you set it out. Have you asked yourself, whereas I have set this standard for the person I want to call my wife, I want to call my husband, I want to call my friend, have you asked yourself if you also, you are in conformity to become somebody's spare? In your qualities, in all that you are, are you somebody's prayer point? Am I making sense to you? Ask yourself, the way I am now, the way I am living my life, my idiosyncrasies, am I somebody's prayer point that God will be kneeling down and somebody will be kneeling down and be praying to God Father please, I want to sit her to be my husband is somebody praying that about you if not then why not You don't have power to control what the other person is or is not. But you have power to control who you are. So why don't you try to become the person you want the other person to be? Yes, you want to get a rich person. Meanwhile, you are. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you, want, you want to have an intelligent person. Meanwhile, you are the toughest of the dumb things. Don't you follow? Can we see her? She can't cut 
in life. I'm just looking to show you how to walk in life. I don't understand that. Is that answer that? Are you asking that you see them or you ask me that they're not a rich man? <laughs> Open your eyes, shine your eyes. Shine your eyes. But the story here is not a bad thing. But now, just hear me out. I have seen in life that sometimes these soft angels. The kind of guys that they will meet and stay with are the rugged ones. <laughs> are we together? <laughs> you will not see a precious daughter well behaved falling in love with the bodies. Problem again. 
it is never too late to come out when you see that it is not working. It is better to have a failed courtship. It is better to have a failed courtship than to have a failed marriage. Let this be your working principle. It is better if I am courting you. It ends, it fails, than it has got into marriage and it is failing. Especially when children are it is another ball game. In fact, another part of uh, whatever. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Because the parameters you are going to deal with will not be more. Are we together? In place of faith in relationship and marriage. Let's look at faith from the angle of belief, from the angle of trust, from the angle of confidence, confidence in God, confidence in divine providence. I need you to always pray. I need you to always fast. I need you to be close to those that can guide you spiritually. I need you to always have mentors that you can look up to and share your innermost feelings with them. Now when you do this, you are displaying that faith. Faith in God or faith in your mentor. Because these persons, let me do the persons that I go back to God. These persons, they have seen it all. If not all, at least better than you. So they should be able to guide you. They will hear what you want and direct you through it. Let me tell you this. If what I love as a person is a figure eight lady, if I said if, 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 <laughs> because you guys are picturing something in your mind, it will not satisfy your mind. you want. You want a very good back size. That is what you want. And you are not seeing them. And you must say, okay, let me settle down for somebody without these things. Are you listening to me? Because anytime you are outside and you see these things, and it is these things that the devil will bring into your way, you will be living in perpetual regret. So when you have mentors that you will be able to share this with, and maybe you are seeing, you are beginning to look at the time. At the time is no longer in my favor. So I beg, if uh, the, the desirable is not uh, available, then the available will not be desirable. At the end, all of them will become undesirable and unavailable. So you must have mentors that will say, yes, boy, yes, girl, don't worry. Uh, 
you need this. But this is important. And this is equally important. And he will be able to advise you. He or she can advise you well. So you trust in that person. In my early days of